welcome back to my 15th ever YouTube video on my YouTube channel. Yay! I am Hawking Simmer, and today we are doing an off-campus roommate build. I lived off campus for the majority of my time. I only lived on campus my freshman year, and that was only because we had to. But the rest of my time in college, I lived off campus. My sophomore year, I lived with my roommate for my freshman year in a townhome that honestly is not far off from what this looks like. And then after that, I lived by myself. Well, I lived in a one bedroom with my cat and my dog who you met in a couple of videos ago. Bubba and Mowgli, they lived with me in my apartment for the next... I don't know, how long did I live there? Three years? I did not finish school in four years. I finished in five and a half because I am the most average person I know. If you want to learn more about my pets, I will link my cast video of making my pets in the eye above. So be sure to check that out. They are so cute and Bubba and Mowgli are only two of my six pets. So you get to see all of my pets as sims, and I included real pictures of them, so check that out. But we're doing a townhome today, off campus. This building is so awkward. Do we all feel that way? Who is Who, who play this? Like, it's so in the middle of nowhere. And I'm guessing it's supposed to be a townhome, but I mean it's only one building, so it doesn't really look like a townhome. Hey, I left the landscaping in. It was just two bushes, really. That was that was it. Between two bushes. You know, between two ferns. Does that still exist? Who knows? Anyway, I wanted to do a townhome because I just did two dorm builds in a row and oh, uh, getting a little tired of them already because they all tend to be the same, especially if it's just two roommates in a room. You get two beds, two desks, maybe two dressers, a bookcase. And then the rest is just filler. I started to do one and noticed that it was really becoming sort of the same thing that I had already done. So I think after this one, I'll probably only do one more roommate build unless someone has any requests. And the other roommate build will probably be recreating my actual dorm room for my freshman year of college because why not, you know? Like I said, this build is really similar to the townhouse that I lived in my sophomore year of college. I ended up living with my roommate from freshman year. We'll call her Jessica. She was a sophomore when I was a freshman who was living on campus again because she had met a boy her freshman year and they were dating and he was getting an apartment and her parents didn't want her to get an apartment because she they thought that they would just be at her apartment all the time, I guess shacking up, but like, joke's on them because literally that girl did not live with me my freshman year of college. Like, she would stop by every once in a while, usually with her parents, like if they came to visit, which was only once or twice, to say hi and to make it seem like she was living there, but otherwise, like, we did not see each other, ever. She dated this guy and... They invited me over a couple times and we had dinner, like played games, watched movies like two or three times and like her boyfriend was really nice and the two other guys that he lived with were really nice and then over Christmas break she texted me and was like, hey, so some things have happened and I was like, yeah, and we, like I said, we don't talk regularly, really and she was like, yeah, so... I broke up with, let's call him Cameron, and two days later on New Year's, I spent it with his roommate, Sean. We'll call him Sean. And I was like, oh, good. And and they were dating. They've decided they were dating, and Cameron knew about it, and things were bad, and th things were just not well. So I get back to school, and they're in... <laughs> They're in our room, and I'm like, oh, hello, and they stayed the night in our room, which is awkward. I think it's awkward to be sharing a room with a, with a person anyway, and then to have their boyfriend there, too. How fun is that? It wasn't. I'm a really private person. I'm not interested in, like, watching y'all snuggle, and I had to be at work at 5 in the morning. Like, it was just not a great time. So, after that, 
she stayed in our room for the rest of that week and then never again. I guess it was awkward at her ex-boyfriend and now boyfriend's apartment, but I guess they didn't care because they didn't come back really. I mean, occasionally they'd stop by per, you know, the first semester, but they didn't stay there ever again. It was so weird, but none of my business. But I had a few roommate options that fell through, and I was so bummed. And Jessica, I almost said her real name, Jessica asked me if we could room together the next year, and I said, sure, why not, because she was always at her boyfriend, so, like, okay, yeah, no big deal. And then I had a friend ask me if I could room with them, and I was like, well, I already told Jessica I would, I would room with her, would you want to check it out, all three of us? And she said, sure, and then afterwards she was like, oh, I don't think Jessica and I, I don't think we vibe, and I was like, yeah, I don't think we vibe either. But I was already, like, I had already committed to this person, I don't have the backbone to be like, never mind, so I didn't, and we ended up living together, but in a three-bedroom townhome. And they were going to give it to us for a discounted price since there were just two of us. And it kind of was what it was. Like, no big deal. I remember at the end of that summer when our lease started, she had moved in before me just a couple days. And then I moved in. And when I got there, like, my mom and my siblings and my now husband were helping me get all my stuff in, and Sean was there too, and I was like, oh, that's fun, and I was actually moving in, but then I had to go back home, I was dealing with some family stuff, and I thought, oh, that's fun that Sean's there too, I hope he's not gonna, like, be there all of the time, and I mean, I was strapped for cash, like, I already, this place was at, like, kind of the top of my budget, and we'd actually worked at a deal because there was a master bedroom with a huge closet and a like an ensuite bathroom and I was like listen we can live here but only if we work out something where I'm paying less rent and if that means like you automatically get the master bedroom instead of we were gonna draw then that works and she was like yeah that's fine I'm down so I was already strapped for cash like I was balling on a budget and to have someone, like a third person, living in your apartment and not paying for anything is kind of crap. Like, especially when you're on a budget. Like, I don't know what was going on in her family. They didn't seem incredibly well off, but I guess they were working with more than me. She never had a job while we were living together, as far as I knew. Oh, I take that back. She, like, she did some things, I think. I don't even remember. It doesn't matter. Sean lived with us, and then she tried to tell me that he wasn't living with us. She's like, oh, no, 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 he's just staying here because I've been sick, so he's been helping take care of me. And I was like, okay, first of all, puke. Second of all, uh, he's been sleeping here every day. He's cooking here. He's using the bathroom and showering here, girl. He lives here. Like, don't pretend like Sean's stuff isn't literally in the washing machine right now, because it is. Like... I was ticked that she tried to play it off like that wasn't the case, and she tried to play it off like she was spending just as much time at his apartment as they were at our apartment, which was not true, because that idiot signed his lease again with the same people as before, as in his, his, you know, Cameron, same people, stupid, stupid. So, we got through... We worked it out to where I wasn't going to make it to where we were splitting rent three ways, but we were going to split utilities three ways because it was stupid that he was at our apartment all the time and not paying a third of the utilities, so whatever. It was very annoying. I was unhappy. She didn't seem to give a crap, so that was great. But I just, my, my now husband at the time was in college and I spent... Oh, wait, maybe he wasn't in college anymore. How long were we in college together? Comment down below, honey. I don't even remember. <laughs> but I tried to spend as least amount of time in my apartment as possible, and I spent a lot of time in my room. I'm, like, not unfriendly. I spent a lot of time at my at my friends' apartments and on campus with friends. I just, like, 
I was so uncomfortable at home. It's hard living with a couple who is, like, disgustingly obsessed with each other and is all over the main living space all the time. And she would do things like go into my room when I wasn't home. Uh, and I know that because she texted me one time and said, Hey, if you're going to go home for the weekend, you really shouldn't leave your water bottle full in your room. And I was like, okay, first of all, it's my water bottle and it has water in it. And second of all, it's my room. Why are you in my room? Like I was not home. Like I started locking my door and it didn't have a, like a real good lock on it. I had to like use a bobby pin to lock my door behind me if I left for an extended period of time. I was so cheesed that this girl thought that she could go into my room without asking, like, oh god, oh god, roommates. Things were kind of all the same from then on out. I think we had the conversation about splitting bills over Thanksgiving break, and from then on out, it was honestly just small, petty kinds of things. But after that, I moved into a one-bedroom apartment and had the time of my life. I paid all my bills and I spent what I could and that was that on that. But the video is coming to a close. The screenshots are coming up. Had to add this ping pong table because what well, college housing does not have some kind of party table. But go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I upload every Monday and Thursday at around 4 p.m. So I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! talked about Jessica in so long. What a good vent sesh. I promise you the next video won't be such a downer.